last week you learned that matrix may be used as a tool to solve simultaneous equations in this week to start with we will first transform simultaneous equations into a single equation and then move on to solve that particular single equation check this out a simultaneous equation system is a system of two or more equations matrix algebra may be used to transform a system of simultaneous equations into a single equation to obtain unique solutions consider the following system of three equations here x1 x2 and x3 are the variables a b and c are the parameters and z1 z2 and z3 are the constants let us try to transform these equations into a single equation you must be wondering how this will require you to follow certain steps the first step requires us to construct a matrix of all the coefficients in the system and name the matrix as a a is a matrix of order 3 by 3 the second step requires us to construct a column vector of the variables name the column vector of variables as x x is a column vector of order 3 by 1 in the third step we construct a column vector of constants name the vector of constants as z z is also a column vector of order 3 by 1 in the next step we multiply the coefficient matrix and the column vector of variables and equate the product to the column vector of constants thus we have arrived at a single equation from a group of three equations so now how do we solve the single equation this requires us to find the value of x since x is a 3 by 1 matrix we have to find the values of each of the elements in the matrix x that is we have to find the values of x1 x2 and x3 in the final step we multiply both left hand side and right hand side of the equation ax equal to z by a inverse or a to the power minus 1 from property of inverse of a matrix if a matrix is multiplied by its inverse the resultant is an identity matrix therefore we are left with the equation ix is equal to a inverse into z where i is an identity matrix or in simple form we may write x is equal to a inverse z